Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, professional astrologer, and you can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. Today I'm going to talk about the full moon in Sagittarius and why it is so much fun. So stay with me. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Thank you for staying with me today. So, full moon in Sag is 18 degrees of Sagittarius. It is on June 9th, 9, 10 a.m. on the east coast of the United States. When we have the full moon in Sag, this is fun to me. It's the funnest one there is. It's the day before my birthday, too, and I love full moons because they show us what we need to know that we haven't been paying attention to. All right, so... With this full moon in Sag, what haven't I been paying attention to? I might need to play a little more. I kind of work an awful lot, right? What about you? Are you playing enough? Are you exploring your world? Are you being spontaneous, having fun, creating adventure for yourself, finding the things you're passionate about? Are you doing any of those things? If you're not, now's the time. Sagittarius energy is also has a lot to do with our spiritual beliefs metaphysical beliefs, of course, higher learning, higher education. And so when I say go explore your world and really get into it and immerse yourself into your culture, a new culture, go to the museum, learn something that inspires you, experience something, this is what we do when we have Sagittarius energy that's strong. Do it for yourself. It helps to motivate you to find new things and not be so completely stuck in a rut all right that's some of the things i would prefer i think you should do during this full moon in sag now remember astrology doesn't do anything to us doesn't make us do anything it's just the energy that is dominant around us and if we choose to act into it or with it then we are going with the flow all right and if we choose just not to and just bury ourselves in television or a good book, well, you know what? That's Sagittarius, too. All right? So I'm not saying astrology is going to make anything happen. I am saying that it is here to help if we choose. All right? So those are some really simple things about what we do with Sagittarius. Astrology is a million times deeper than that. But I just want you to have some really simple, easy things that you can use and um, feel like you're taking action with what's around you all right good now i want to looking down for my notes i want to talk just a little bit about a couple other things because there's a few other things going on with this sagittarius full moon and don't forget you can read this forecast on my website nhastrologer.com click on the forecast tab you can read the full moon new moon and i create a, a report for the whole month as well all right, so go check that out. And what's written down a lot of times is more and different than what I say here because I write first and then I just talk about what I think I wrote about. And sometimes different stuff comes through. All right, what else is going on is we have Mars in Cancer. Now Mars is out of, we have an elliptic, right? It's just the area, the path that all the planets sort of travel around us through the solar system and once in a while they go a little out of bounds right so they go way up high or way down low mars is out of bounds and in the sign of cancer mars is a fiery planet it's in cancer which is the moon's sign that's why i'm talking about it because we're talking about a full moon so i'm going to talk about everything moon related mars and cancer out of bounds we have emotions that could really go through the roof with mars and cancer we can feel very argumentative it's like a pressure cooker so if we're feeling a lot of that fire of Mars and so we're feeling angry or, or upset about something, make sure you let off the steam a little bit at a time. Great way to help is to exercise, you know, do things that you know, don't usually do. So exercise and move that energy through. Mars is in Cancer for a total of seven weeks. So we have about six weeks to go at this point from June 9th on. So remember to do that. Remember to take some time and um, either let off some steam, let your person know what you need to talk to them about, and don't hold it back, all right? It'll be the best action. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, since the sun is the other half of a full moon, the sun 
is in a hard aspect with Pluto called a quincunx. It's five twelfths, if you will. So they're five signs away from each other out of twelve, right? So that's the science. They don't get the not there's nothing compatible between these two. So it's always about make constantly making an adjustment and seeing where you are. Making an adjustment, seeing where you are. And now the sun moves pretty quickly, one degree a day. So this aspect is only going on for a few days on either side of June 9th. But what it really is, is as an explanation, the sun in Gemini is fun, social, easygoing, lighthearted, just wants to, like a butterfly, just go from one thing to another to another. Very lighthearted. Pluto in Capricorn is all about changing the core foundation, the core structure of who we are. And when they come together like this for just a few days, basically some of us will be feeling it, depending on how energetically sensitive you are, will be feeling it and will be feeling like something's wrong, what's changing. And it, that in, in this transit will come and go and we may be able to do something with it easily through meditation or yoga or it just goes away and we, we never even notice it. Now, for those of us born within a week of either side of June 9th, which I am, my birthday's the 10th, um, Pluto has been quincunx, our natal sun, for a while now and still will be for a while. And I mean like a year or so. We've got a couple of years of this. And so it's about, you know, not being so superficial. It's about changing the inner dynamic of who we are, right? My example that I wrote up on my written forecast is is thus. I've been doing these weekly, bi-weekly forecasts, whether it's written or video, over 10 years now. Every week, yes, for over 10 years. Think about how many that is. It's over, it's, it's, it does, oh my God, it's hundreds and thousands of reports. But I try to keep them really simple and easy for you guys to understand, those of you who aren't astrologers. You don't need to know astrology if you're listening to this stuff, which makes it somewhat superficial. Gemini, because I'm just telling you the, the surface stuff. Because I've been studying astrology. I mean, I'm at my Saturn return for studying astrology, so it's been almost 30 years now I've been studying. So I know the depths of astrology, and I will never stop learning astrology to this day, I've got three new books out in there in my in my office of reading and studying and constant. And so that's the depths, the depths of what astrology is. Not my studying, but that I could study for almost 30 years and still not know what I need to know or what I want to know. That's the Pluto aspect. And so when the sun, which in Gemini is easygoing, carefree, Superficial somewhat, but just light-hearted. It's not, not intel non-intelligent. It's very intelligent, but it's just light-hearted. And then that Pluto comes in and just says, no, we need to change this. So we try to make a change. <clears throat> and then you make a little change. And then you have to stop because it's too much. Then you make a little change and you have to stop. And you just it's just this, you know, two steps forward, one step back. So when the Sun and Pluto are in this hard aspect, this quincunx with each other, um, you know, especially most of, like you said, you guys only have it for a couple of days. The rest of us, Gemini's, born around the ninth, we got it for a while. So if you want some help with that, that's my job. <laughs> I can help you with it. I'm living it too. So no matter what your life looks like at this moment in time, we just need to remember that this full moon isn't making us do anything. But what it is asking us and what we can go with and go with the flow with this full moon is to be adventurous, have fun, be spontaneous, learn through immersing yourself into something that creates passion in your life. And I will leave you with that because this is a long one in Sagittarius fashion, a little longer than it usually is. If I can help you with anything, please let me know, nhastrologer.com. And come and read the forecast. If you'd like to be on my email newsletter list, please come and sign up for that because and um private lessons private sessions classes all of it's there this is my life this is what i do all right thank you very much guys blessings and namaste